Greek philosopher Hippocrates said, let food be thy medicine. And while this statement is spot on, it's not to say that we should avoid adding supplementary nutrients to any given diet regimen to ensure optimal nutrition. We've discussed in previous videos the amazing, life-changing effects of a ketogenic diet, from the drastic increase in healthy weight loss from the burning of fat for energy, to the incredible effects on the brain through increased brain energy availability and heightened cognition. And while cutting out sugar and all other forms of carbohydrates provide huge health benefits by promoting the body's metabolism to become ketogenic, there are ways to get more out of your ketogenic diet. In this video, I will cover what I would consider to be the three most synergistic supplements to a ketogenic diet. These supplements provide a boost in a variety of the ketogenic pathways that we've grown to appreciate by aiding the breakdown and burning of fat, providing substrates needed for energy production from fat, and giving our bodies the energy boost needed to heighten important body functions such as brain, skeletal muscle, and immune system function. While there are a wide variety of supplements that can be considered aids to a ketogenic diet, I've narrowed this list down to my top three. First, green tea, or more specifically, its most active ingredient, EGCG. Second will be branch chain amino acids, and perhaps most predominantly, leucine. And last but not least, medium chain triglycerides, namely the 8 carbon saturated fatty acid called caprylic acid. Let me explain why. I wouldn't say that green tea is the most popular synergistic supplement with a ketogenic diet, but it's highly effective in its ability to reduce the tendency to absorb fat and increase the ability to burn fat. It comes down to the potent fat oxidation that green tea promotes from it being a rich source of polyphenol catechins. In particular, EGCG, or epigallocatechin gallate, is the most active of the catechins in green tea and is primarily responsible for the antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and metabolic effects. To break this down even further, the boost in fat metabolism comes from EGCG's direct effect on proteins and phospholipids in the plasma membrane that upregulate mitochondrial function, which we know is the energy factory for all cells in our body therefore increasing the rate at which fatty acids are metabolized. In other words, green tea provides an increase in the rate at which we use fat to produce energy. In a ketogenic diet where we are primarily depending on fat metabolism for energy, we can see how this boost in fat oxidation can provide improvements in ketone production and can promote further weight loss in the form of body fat or adipose tissue. In addition, the naturally occurring caffeine in green tea works synergistically to boost metabolism even further. Second on my list is branch chain amino acids. The branch chain amino acids consist of three essential amino acids, meaning they must be consumed and cannot be manufactured inside the body. These three are leucine, isoleucine, and valine. We know that in a metabolism fueled by glucose, protein and amino acid breakdown is inevitable, which is what prompts athletes trying to build lean muscle mass to supplement BCAAs. While the ketogenic metabolism has been proven to spare these BCAAs, they also play a larger role, making their heightened levels even more valuable. As we discussed in the ketogenic effects on muscle building video, leucine is able to take on the role of insulin that is suppressed in a ketogenic diet and effectively promote muscle protein synthesis, therefore improving the ability to build muscle in a ketogenic diet. On a smaller cellular level, these branch chain amino acids are able to replenish the intermediates for cellular energy cycles, which is a huge benefit in a ketogenic diet where glycolysis is lowered and cellular pyruvate is not as available. In other words, BCAAs are able to be broken down into important substrates for cellular energy production, which aids in overall higher energy levels. Moving on to MCTs or medium chain triglycerides. Medium chain triglycerides are somewhat of a staple of the ketogenic diet. The smaller structure that allows MCTs to be metabolized quickly provides pathways for ketone production even in unadapted individuals. The uses of medium chain triglycerides can range from a daily ketone boost to aiding in the elimination of the tough to deal with side effects of keto adaptation. Triglycerides in general are made up of a glycerol bound to three fatty acids and are ingested, stored, and more commonly referred to as fats. The differentiating factor between long chain and medium chain triglycerides are the length of the fatty acids that make up their structure. 
these shorter, medium-chain fatty acids are metabolized in the liver so readily that they are pushed to the front of the line even before simple carbohydrates, resulting in ketone production even when carbs and glucose are present. This is the mechanism that helps decrease the lack of energy and brain fog during the short keto adaptation phase. MCTs promote ketone production even before nutritional ketosis has been reached, making up for the deficit in energy due to the considerable reduction in available energy from carbohydrates when switching to a ketogenic diet. In addition, the fact that MCTs are broken down even before carbohydrates makes them a promising supplement even to a diet regimen including carbs as a way to reap the benefits of a small increase in ketone production without achieving nutritional ketosis. Like I said before, these are just a few of what I would consider the top synergistic supplements to a ketogenic diet, and there are a ton of other healthy additions you can add to your regimen. I think one important thing that I didn't cover in depth here is to take a comprehensive daily vitamin to make up for the deficit in micronutrients you might be missing out on on your ketogenic diet. As always, I'd love to hear from anyone watching, so if you have a different top three supplements in your ketogenic diet, uh, share them in the comments below and let us all hear what you think works best. Recommendations for future videos are also always welcome, and more videos are on the way soon. But until next time, keep going against the grain.